Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, we're gonna be talking about methods when it comes to object-oriented programming, how we would create something like that, and so forth. So stay tuned. Pramp is a free mock interview platform where you can develop your technical interviewing skills. Practice coding with live execution of all major programming languages to solve real interview questions. Interview types include data structures and algorithms, product management, behavioral interviews, system design, front end, and data science. I've personally used this service to successfully crash course for a software engineering interview. Lots of people are having success getting positions at companies like Amazon, Google, Twitter, and more. Check it out, I'll leave a link for you guys in the description. All right, so we talked about creating objects in the last couple of videos. Maybe you're just jumping in, so let me just give you a quick crash course of what we talked about. Very quick. We might have some class, and this class can have fields, such as a name, and it can also have what are known as methods, which basically define some behavior or something that each object can do, such as, and you would invoke this with parentheses when you use it. So how would we define something like this? Well, inside of a class, this is our class structure. We would create this in some file. We would create a method and it might look like this. So right now we have an empty method. We say the return type. So this is going to give us back a string. We give it a name such as talk. We put the parentheses, which is where we would put any parameters. So anything we expect to get passed in as input as arguments. Then we open and close the body and our code goes here. So this might look like this. We can say return to basically give that string as an output. So we can say, hi, I'm, then we can end the string with a space there and say plus name. And this name here is going to come from that field. So that would be defined probably right here. I'll just do a real small public string name. <laughs> That's really small, but that would uh, basically return when we call this method. So this is how we would define something like this. But let's talk a little bit more about using it because that's a little bit more important for what we're gonna be doing at the beginning. So we define this person in code like so, and then we can use it like so in another method somewhere else. We create a new person like so, and then we set a value for the name, and then we can use this method. And it's going to return a string, so you need to do something with that. So for example, you could output it. So you can write all the system.out junk, but I'm just gonna put dot 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 and then say me dot talk. So this method will return, hi, I'm Caleb. And we can do whatever we want with that string. You could output it, you could pass it to another method, whatever you want. So that is the basics of methods. There's variations we're gonna get through. So for example, static void main, that's the main method that everything is executed from. We haven't talked about static, but we will be getting into that. But for now, all you really need to know is that Methods allow us to do something. It's where we can put calculations and so forth. We'll also use methods to basically gate who can access our fields. So eventually this field name here will probably make it private and we'll create methods to access it. So just like this one is accessing name here, that's still going to work because it's defined within that class code but out here we couldn't assign a value to it here. So we'll talk about how to get around that and so forth. So thank you guys for watching. Be sure to check out the next video because we're gonna get hands on with the stuff and I'm pretty excited to start coding because oh, my shoulders hurt and sitting and typing is a lot better. So <laughs> not really. Peace out and subscribe.